said that the son joined what? And he was not a serious member of Joseph, and they had advantage over him in the realm of the spirit. Keep on playing religion. And then you take uh, living rights to please pastor. Of course, when your eyes is blind, you think that the life of righteousness is a waste of time. You think that they will compromise him. Now, I have to pray for him. After praying for him, he gave his life to, her life to Christ anyway. The children turned turn around. She didn't live longer, she died. And you know what <laughs> When she died, the son called me saying, her mother had died. I said, okay, I'm sending some people to assist you to carry her to watch. I said, no, Pastor. I don't think this woman has repented fully. I don't want to waste time before she wake up again. <laughs> <laughs> you see the disadvantage of him. Before the people I sent from church will reach the compound, he has already carried the mother straight to village. Before the trace are in village, himself is digging the grave. They just want to make sure that the woman is ready that day. My friend, don't go into it. Are you a child and they deceive you and apprehended you to use you and destroy your parents and cause your parents to suffer and cause disaster in your siblings? My friend, the Bible says, I have nothing to do with the proof of words of darkness, but rather reprove them. For it is a shame to talk of, of them, talk of those things that are told of them in the spirit. My friend, expose them. Denounce your membership with them. Renounce and reject them. Come to Jesus. They may have told you, if you do that, they will kill you. It's a lie. The Bible calls it enticing words of men wisdom. They just want to use it to captivate you so that you remain there. Come to Jesus. They have no power to kill you again. Or you are going to student court. Your parents struggle and send you to school only for you to go there. And forget what you went to school to do and become capable. Causing trouble here and there. You don't have time to study. After you will show me any capable anywhere that is doing well. After capable, capable, you come you come out from school, no certificate. Why? You didn't study. Don't be deceived. Say I never loved him. I made your ways. Oh yeah, it's all robbery. Kidnapping. Come out. You are into picking pocket, snatching handset of people. Come out. You break the home of people and steal. My friend is not stealing that matter. There are statements that are issued against you after you steal and go. Those statements works. There is no empty words, especially when you are guilty. Amend your ways. Those people who are into evil, those who claim to be born again, but their life is like the people of the world. You should know. John chapter 16, I mean chapter 17, verse 16 says, We Christians, born again Christians, are in the world, but we are not of the world. There is a big difference between the born again Christian and people in the world. Second Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. If any man be in Christ, what happened? It's a new creature. All things have passed away, and behold, all things have become new. Which means, when you profess you are born again, there must be a drastic change in your comportment, action, character, lifestyle, behavior, conduct, everything about you. And so don't claim you are born again in error. If you are claiming something needs to be done, this happened. Those who claim to be born again, they do makeup, paint their face, bleach their body, and then do Jericho, paint their hair, or run hairdressing salute. Repent and stop it. Or you put here in bando chair for information. Those earrings are symbol of a slave. And when you are using them, you have become a slave in the hand of the devil. These are spiritual. Genesis chapter 35. When God called Jacob, like the way he called us today, and Jacob addressed his household, they removed their earrings, including the strength gods, and Jacob threw it away, and God blessed them. Ezebo chapter 33 verse 5 he said, you are a stiff neck people remove your ornament that I may think what I will do for you. Remove your ornament. He didn't say you should remove it and put it in the box or dash it out, throw it away because they are strange gods. You can't serve two masters. Then the men that are doing rough coin drawing tattoo in their body, turning their hair like women, plating their hair like women it doesn't make you anything. 
or you're going to do rough call, eh? Jaga Jaga hair. You know, it doesn't make you handsome. It doesn't make you anything. It leads you into error. And believe me, without your appearance, anywhere police are at the checking point, you are the target. Do you know what I said? Yes. As we are coming, we are rushing to come and meet you so to close your time. Eh? Police stop on. When they look at us and saw how all of us dress, they say pass. <laughs> they say pass. Yeah. Even road safety. They can't say, oh, you people wait. I say, please, we are rushing. We are going for some. It's okay. Go, go, go. But if you wear Jaga Jaga jeans, they must search you very well. Yes, sir. Please, what I'm saying is it true? True, sir. You do Jaga Jaga hair. Yeah. Hair. Yeah. Hair. Then we, then we see that same pass. Yeah, Is it me. possible? No, sir. You will hands off. Yes. One police will point you at the gun and say hands off. <laughs> they will start giving you in our ways where you keep people and other things. My friend, there is no thing better than living a life of holiness. It gives you honor. Do you know what I said? Yes, sir. It command respect. Mm -hmm. There's nothing out there that is sweet. Does satanic entertainment and deception. Amen. What about women that dress and open their chairs? That's fashion. Who told you fashion like that? When I was young, I was told eh, that a woman private part are her pride. Those days, eh, who are you to see a woman's stomach? A woman then believed that if you see her naked stomach, you have already slept with her. They cherish their body. But today, women in error. Sometimes they wear it, eh? Maybe they enter a short uh, belly. When they see you coming, they begin to draw it. I see they want to come out. They are enticing and say, Look at it, I'm lost. My friend, the soul that lead one to sin cannot go unpunished. That's the Bible. Don't dress like that. No matter your age, I say, Lady, if you dress appropriately, everybody will see you respect you. But you are married and have grown up children. And your children are naked. You, you are naked. And you are going all of you with your children. They will say, hey, it's that girl. Your daughter will turn and say, not you, the other girl. Who is the other girl? The mother. Why? By their fruits. They shall know them. They say they insult. If you insult yourself, mm -hmm. respect yourself and people respect you. Women that wear short nickel, short gown, short blouse. That's sin. Or you wear mini car. The highest one now, eh? A, a woman, a mature woman, will force herself inside a gun meant for 12 years here. And if she's going, breeze will blow. She's struggling. What type of fashion is that? Please don't follow it. Those Americans and Europeans are following are children from divorce home. The reason why America and Europe are the way they are is because of divorce. They are not in, together in their parents' house. Because they are not together, they are not given proper training. Do you know what I said? There is a big difference between a child that came from a distant home from a child that come from a distant home. They don't behave alike. Do you know what I said? Some years ago, I know of a family. That family, until I left that place, I never see any of the children using abusive words on anyone. What they call themselves, my brother, my sister, my brother, my sister. Because they don't see their father or mother quarreling and fighting. Please, did you hear what I said? Don't follow that. It's error. First Corinthians chapter 6, read verse 9 to 10. He said, No ye not, that a righteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God, be not deceived. Neither fornicators, neither letters, neither trust, neither feminine, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor confessors, nor drunkards, nor revelers. This set of people cannot inherit the kingdom of God. And if that be the case, if you was inherited, total repentance is required. Positive adjustment. And that must be now, not tomorrow. Because 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 1 and 2, he said, We then as laborers together with him, beseech you also that you receive not the grace of God in vain. For he has said, I have had thee in the time of sentence. I have called thee in the time of salvation. Behold, now is accepted time. Behold, now is the door of salvation. So never you say let her repent. I can't assure you of letter. I don't know what tomorrow goes. Now is the only time we talk about. And if God that knows the beginning from the end is saying now, why must you propose tomorrow? Do it now. 
Then those who are men that wear skirt and blouse and wear gown, that's sin. And you dress like women as a man, that's sin. You must stop it. Those, as I mentioned, that draw tattoo in your body, draw snake or scorpion or whatever, you must stop it because the Bible said in the book of Leviticus, you shouldn't make any image in your body, either for the living or the dead. Why? The reason is that your body is a temple of the living God. And you are going to render account on that body when you appear before me. Don't be deceived. Many people, you know, when you hear them talking, they say, man, I go, woman born another. It's not true. Man is not animal. The difference between man and other creatures is other creatures doesn't have a living spirit inside them. Man has a living soul, which is the breath of God inside the man. There is original you inside you. Immediately you throw this body, eh? that is the end of the canal you. The spiritual one inside that doesn't die comes up. It looks exactly you, no different. But the difference is this one can die and end. The other one cannot die. But the unfortunate thing is, if you refuse to live well now, that one that doesn't die will enter in the place of torture from generation to generation. But if you live well, you will you know, suffer some things here. When you leave this earth and drop this body, the original you enter into the paradise of Christ, the paradise of enjoyment. And I wish you will be there. I pray you will be there. Amen. If you believe that, say amen. amen. Then how about those who are into stubbornness, disobedient? We have children of today that are full of stubbornness. Stubborn. They are stubborn to their parents, to their spirit, even to the point they talk back at, you, at their parents. Or you are a wife. Whether you are the breadwinner, you must know by God making, a woman is under the husband. Please, are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes, sir. A wise woman does not talk back at her husband. A wise woman does not challenge her husband. A wise woman respects her husband like Sarah, like Esther. These are mothers in the Bible. And then a wise man applicable is a man that cannot beat the wife. It's a man that loves the wife more than other women outside them. No matter how other women look like, they can never be beautiful like your wife. Say amen. amen. You must cherish your wife, mm. make her happy. Mm. Let me tell you the reasons why you must make her happy. This woman rejected her family and followed you. She canceled her father name and chose to be your name. You know what I say? Sometimes she abandoned her state and local government and choose your local government. That's a great price. And so you must take her like your companion which she is, love her, care for her. Some men beat their wife, anyhow, blue and black. Yet, there is no day anybody separated you with anybody upon the street. But when you enter house, you become my ketas. Mm -hmm. And you'll be holding you and say, let me, let me teach you a lesson. Who? <laughs> your wife. What hey, daddy. You should be ashamed for raising your hand on your wife. And if you are done that, don't do it again. And after hearing me, go back and make peace. Beg your wife to forgive you for that slap or that bit. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Some men, eh? All the joints in long walk, I hope that they know all of them. They go and eat and eat and eat. And then when you come by, your wife asks you a little money, your eye will come out. You are shouting, don't you know the economy is bad? Eh? But there, you will meet some girls, some ladies, some divorcees. Eh? You buy this and give them. They say thank you. Say don't mention. It's a pleasure. <laughs> but when it matters, your eye will come out. I am a married man. Listen, if you want to enjoy your wife, just today as, as you close church, take her to Mr. B. One me pie. One me pie. The story that happened in her family 20 years ago, she will tell you. And if there is any way she hide the money, she will tell you I get one money in the house. She will go and bring it and say, take. Please, what I'm telling you, I'm telling you, they say seeing is what? It's not when you see your wife, you frown, you want to fight. But outside there, your young girl, little little girls, you call them mommy. You don't know who is your mom. You don't do that again. Today, what I said, 
Now you go to anywhere, you carry your wife and go and broadcast before you are pressed. How she don't know how to cook. How she like, fact, you are getting to marry. Do you know who is listening to you? Those people listening to you, some of them wanted to marry your wife. You chance them, they are not happy. Likewise, you. If you go and tell your brother, your father, how your husband is treating you, and your brother come and beat your husband up and kill him, can your brother marry you? Even if they carry you back to their house, eh? You will not stay alone. One day you will surprise you. They will tell you, now you are weekend, and I make your husband send you away. My friend, you must learn how to go and live together. What starts marriage is love. What keeps marriage is tolerance and forgiveness. That woman you marry is not God. It's only God that is perfect. That man you marry is not God. It's only God that is what? Perfect. Understand his or her weakness and keep on loving. One of the days or ways to overcome error is no matter what somebody you love, do. Love him more and more. Love shall cover the multitude of what? Yes. Can I have you say amen? Yeah. Now, those people that have done one and hide it, I compare you to make a restriction. Restriction has kept so many people in bondage. What is restriction? Opening up the evil you did and cover up. As of Apostle chapter 24 verse 16, he said, I may have a conscience void of offense.